When he blocks you, so you go to his house as a UPS driver. Good morning, guys. Well, not really morning, but um, good morning. <laughs> um, it's like 12. It's 12.30 right now, and I've gotten some things done this morning. I literally went to the bank, like I said, um, which I'm going to talk on that, talk about that in a second. And then I just had my wig sale, and now I'm about to record a video, which I didn't plan on recording a video until I was in my new place because I just really want this new setup, and I just want things a certain way. But honestly, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but... Nobody's answering my phone call about this goddamn furniture. Like, I have the good lady's personal number and I have the number number for the furniture place and nobody's answering me. So I'm like, you know what? Life must go on. I have to continue working. So it is what it is. But let me tell y'all. So I went to the bank today and... Hold on. Um, anyway, so I went to the bank today and I'm going to like slick my hair while I'm doing this because I'm about to put on this wig. And I went to Beauty Supply Store and got some new goodies. Let me tell y'all what I got. So I got this. I don't know why, but it's this Ultra HD Sleek Smoothing Gel. Is it a gel? Yeah. With castor oil. So I need this because my hair be breaking off. Like I just washed my hair and it was like literally breaking off. And I kind of don't care, but like I kind of care. I just don't want my edges to like... You see like it's literally coming off. Anyways, then I just watched LaRaja's last video. And she used these two products. She used, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? She used these new products, these two products. I kept seeing these, but I was like, mm, Eben. Like, I don't not like Eben, but they really be hit or miss. It's like, I don't know. But she said they were good. So I'm going to try these today for my wig install and let y'all know. And then I got, I had got a bunch of lashes and stuff for work. Um, that's in the car, though. Why is it doing that? And then I got this got to be spray. I've never tried the pink and pink and purple. Pink and blue. I always use the blue and purple. Why can't I say my colors today? So this does this have little ballies in it? Or is this broken? Oh, that's why. I'm like, what is shaking? Not me getting a defective one, child. Of course I would. So anyway, so this one is um i guess a more lightweight formula so i'm gonna see maybe this one will work for my hair i'm not sure i'm gonna try it on my lace too and then this one is definitely a lot stickier i use this one all the time this one definitely has a higher hold well high hold black so i'm assuming this one is more for the hair and this one i just picked it up i don't know y'all know i'm gonna uh be giving you guys a lot of hair videos and i want to do more like instead of just like doing my hair like I've been doing, I kind of want to do more informative videos or more try more products. Cause I literally just what is this? Sick about it. <laughs> um, I literally just always use the same product, same technique. But I want to like switch up the techniques, see what I like, try different products. There's a lot of um products on the market right now marketed towards lace like even shea moisture i was looking for this shea moisture gel like this but they didn't have it but um all these brands are like getting hit to the whole lace thing so i want to see what's tea okay i have some erica j stuff on the way so like i just want to try different products different techniques and just you know switch it up a little bit so that you guys are not just seeing me install my wigs of course you know some days chai you're just gonna see me do what i do but for the most part i want to kind of switch it up a little bit and also i got this um wig Grip Gel by ORS. I always see Jayla use this and she likes it. So I'm going to see what it's talking about. Anyways, um, back to the bank. I'm rambling, but back to the bank. So basically, I went to the bank. Mind you, I have not opened a bank account since high school. I've had the same bank account for years. Um, I use my bank that bank account and then I use PayPal, which is to me like a second bank account. Because you know, you can have a debit card. I can transfer money. It just works out. I can check out when I'm shopping online with PayPal. Like, it's just great, okay? So, um, I probably look cross-eyed because I'm looking at myself versus at this. But, oh my gosh, there's, like, stuff on my lens. Anyways. So, I go to the bank and I am... I'm going to slick my hair back, you guys. 
Oh, it smells good. I thought it was gonna smell like, I don't know what I thought it was smell like, but anyways. So, ah, oh, I keep getting sidetracked. So I go to the bank, right? And I'm like, yeah, I just need to open an account. And first of all, I don't, you guys know, I don't get direct deposit. I work for myself, so there's no direct deposit. Um, and they're like, did it stop recording? <laughs> they're like, um, you either have to get $500 of direct deposit monthly or um, you have to keep a balance of $500 in your account daily. And you know, like, that's not a big deal, but also like, in reality, the average person is not gonna have $500 in their account daily. Like, I know that sounds great. I know everybody's rich now, but um, that's just not realistic, especially if I'm using this account to pay bills. Like, it's probably gonna just be like, you know, what needs to be in there is gonna be in there, and that's just that. Um, I just think it's really ridiculous that you get penalized for not having a certain amount of money in your account daily. So like basically if my account goes to $400 for a day, I get charged at $10 a month. If I, if I maintain $500 in there daily consecutively, I don't get charged for the month. But I'm pretty sure it's just going to end up charging me whatever. It's just so stupid. Like I just, But every bank charges you now, so it's just kind of like... I don't know it's just really weird i haven't i have not opened an account in so long it just is it's kind of mind-blowing <laughs> like daily you didn't even say like 500 dollars a month like okay cool you have to keep 500 dollars in your account daily are you dumb are you dumb do i have any more of this yes i literally only use this oil on my hair now because everything else makes my scalp well except tea tree oil Tea tree oil, the chi one, is not bad. But everything else, oh my gosh. Makes my scalp feel so raw. Yeah, guys, that was insane. And I'm like really sitting there like $10 a month isn't a lot, but it's just like the principle. Like I'm getting charged $10 a month to hold my money. I'm going to have a shoebox under my bed. That's what I'm about to do. Like that makes no sense. And then on top of it, like people are being penalized for not having money. Because like even an overdraft fee, like I think an overdraft fee is the biggest scam. Like, sorry, I had a moment. Sorry, I'm just a little broke right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just crazy. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm gonna try to do a reel today. I'm gonna have a few reels, reels that I have in mind because I really want to keep my Instagram going. I haven't posted in so long. Kind of disappointed in myself, but you guys know I haven't really been in the best mood so this is not doing what it's supposed to do <laughs> i mean it is but it isn't but um yeah so i'm gonna try to do a reel today you know that um the beginning of mulatto song youngest and the richest or something she's like in interviews they always ask me what's my favorite thing to do shitting on beaches that's what I'm gonna do. So um, I wasn't gonna do it because she was like, what's your favorite thing to do besides rapping? And I'm like, not a rapper, but it's cute. So I'm gonna do it. <laughs> and I like an easy, quick reel. Um, or so, should I say TikTok? I wanna get more into reels, but TikTok is just easier for me to maneuver. It's so weird. Yeah, I think after I get ready today, I'm gonna take myself to dinner because he, <laughs> I just need some time to myself. I need some time to myself. It's actually been slicking it pretty decently, honey. You guys see, this is like my natural texture. You guys see that? Thick. I'm just gonna put my hair in a low ponytail with this clear rubber band. I used two of them. I feel like the clear ones don't break your hair as much, like at all, actually. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use that. And yeah, so I'm probably going to take myself to dinner. I'm thinking Oak. Um, there's this place, there's a steakhouse called Oak at Avalon um, in my area. And it's like good. And I haven't had a steak in so long. I'm just kind of like over meat. Like, you guys, I don't know if it's the stress. I don't know if what it is. But I just have not been eating. Like, ugh. You guys, I went to Starbucks this morning. I didn't even get a Frappuccino. I got a freaking cold brew something. It was so bitter, but it just really fulfilled me. I'm like, who am I? <laughs> who am I? I want this to be as slick as possible, you guys. Look at my hair. I need to cut my hair off. But yeah, so I might take myself to dinner or I just, I don't know. 
trying to think. But all my friends literally keep texting me like, oh my god, Tasha, let's go to dinner, let's go to lunch. And I'm like, Ugh. I just don't. I just don't know what's wrong with me. I just don't feel like being around anybody. My friend Laren literally texted me this morning and was like, <laughs> she was like, good morning, Princess Carisha. <laughs> she was like, you better get up and get your wig on and get some content done. And I was like, you know what? Thank you for that. I needed that. I needed that motivation. But she wants me to take a picture today. She's like, I'll take a picture for you. And I'm like, hey, period. Period. And I'm going to start applying castor oil to my to my edges daily. Like when I take off my wigs. I don't care how much it stank. I don't care. I just don't care. I'm just going to start putting castor oil. Just so that I don't. Okay, this is the thing. When you wear frontals. I swear to you, it feels like your edges are like disappearing, but like my edges are still very much thick. But um, I just don't want to wake up one morning and really have no edges. So I'm just going to apply castor oil <laughs> to my edges every day um, from here on out. So after I take off, well, I'm wearing my wig probably for the rest of the weekend. I'm not sure yet. And this is how I prep my wigs underneath. <laughs> my wig <laughs> I don't like to do braids so I got this you guys so screenshot it I like this and this is gonna last me a long time I don't be doing nothing correct to my hair so don't come for me so I'm gonna go ahead and make my bed and um I literally picked the worst angles to do this to talk to you guys um I look gross <laughs> um I am going to make my bed straighten up a little bit and then I'll be back later. So in other news, my nails are growing on me. They still are a little... Do you guys see what I mean with the lines? Just like, tell me if y'all see what I'm seeing. It's like, like I said, the assignment was understood. But you pa you just passed. I'm supposed to be having a pretty little thing order coming. By next week, I'll be ready to start my content. I hope my Brandon Blackwood bag gets here this week or next week so i have this look you guys i have this look understand me i got this look in mind okay hey, this is what i'm gonna try to do today we're gonna see all right guys so just an update um i did install my wig and it looks great um i used the new spray that i showed you guys but anyways so i called the furniture people and they finally answered and tomorrow my bed and my vanity and i think one of my dressers is getting delivered which like that's fine just communicate with me tell me something anything please um so yeah that's happening they finally answered she's like oh like that's why i haven't been calling you i'm like well you know you could just simply tell me that like that's okay if it's gonna take another week then just say that if you can only deliver some of it just say that like just not communicating with me honestly is just not acceptable when i have an empty apartment like i just don't understand you guys so i finished my video and i'm about to finish my tiktok and this took me way longer than I thought. I thought it was going to be done by 3.45, remember? It is now 5.22, but it came out exactly how I want. Well, not exactly. It's really pretty, but the hair just isn't like dense enough for it to hold the waves, but it still looks really good. I think my install is shababin, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to finish my um, TikTok, and then I'm going to figure out what I'm eating for dinner for the hundredth time. I keep checking in on you guys, but like, this is why I don't be vlogging. I be feeling so repetitive and so annoying. It's just... First of all, you guys, I'm so annoyed because I'm trying to leave because I just want to go to dinner and oh, maybe I'll wear those sandals because I do not want to wear heels. I don't have any sandals. That's on my to-do list when I get back is to order some cute sandals that I could just wear to run out because I'm eating dinner by myself. Why do I need to wear heels? It's I'm not even in the mood for that. I just want to, you know, you know. Well, I just saw my mom had these. Y'all, I'm always in my mom's closet. If you didn't know, now you know. Like, look how much stuff she has. Like, all of this, even back here, it's all shoes. She has shoes, 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 shoes. Turn around. She got shoes, 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 all behind them clothes. So we're going to find a little pair of sandals today. And eat this food by myself. Enjoy myself. 
think about life <laughs> and come back home and get some work done. And I just posted a video on um, YouTube too. So uh, get ready with me just went live and I posted a reel on Instagram. So we're doing good friends. We're doing great. And today's fra fragrance. Okay, this is so weird. I don't know what I just did with it. I sprayed Killian Love Don't Be Shy. Oh, there it is. And then um, I did a little bit of Tom Ford Bitter Peach because Angel, ah, hey girl, she told me that they mix good. So it makes sense because Tom Ford is very like, mm. and then Killian's like, mm, mm. but like they smell really good together. So if you have those two, layer them, y'all. Y'all thought that was a Rolls Royce in front of my house, but it's a Chrysler. That little boy is always on his little patio waving at me. He's so cute. <laughs> He'd be out there with his dog. And they just sit on the freaking patio all day. I don't know if he's having fun or not, but... Alright, so I'm about to go. Hopefully it ain't no problems. Hopefully I don't need a reservation. I do not want to eat at the bar. I know. I just want a table. That's all I want is a table. So I will see you guys later. What did I say? I said they were gonna put me at the bar and I did not wanna be at the bar. It's not, it's focusing. I don't know what's going on, it's not focusing on my face. But didn't I say I didn't wanna be at the bar and I knew they were gonna put me at the bar? I got there at eight, I mean, sorry, 7.20. And they're like, oh, we don't have anything available until 8.20. Hello? I found the people that have five here right now. Get there and take the seat over $10 that they said they were in. What well, and give him the card? <laughs> no, Sam, never said not like this yet. No, like I was saying, they literally put me at the bar, so I couldn't even vlog because, like, I'm right in the middle of people. Like, but it was a nice moment, though. I liked being by myself. I really did enjoy it. It was very peaceful. Hello, guys. So I'm with the best bitch in North America. Not North America. She's so annoying. Um, we're gonna try to um, attempt to um, set up my beauty room. But um, I need. I took all my um, makeup from home and I'm gonna put it in these drawers. This is the same dresser I have at work. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna... <laughs> Girl, I told you. You know the yellow one is for the internet. Girl, is these jump cables? <laughs> this fool. This food. Um, and once I finish, oh, it just reminded me I need to pay the bill. Anyways, once I um, finish, I'm gonna spray paint these gold because I can't just change them because look at how they're like nailed in. They're like, it's not even worth the hassle. So I'm just gonna spray paint that hoe. It's so, you guys, I can't pause this, but I'm watching Nikki on live, guys. Because why not? <laughs> She's so cute. I don't know what this big announcement was. I just got on. I don't know what's going on. Y'all know she just be rambling. But um, I'm kind of sort of getting progress. But I have this like, it's giving OCD. My best friend's calling. It's giving OCD because I wish everything was the same size, same container. Like I'm trying to figure out how to organize this because I'm getting, I'm not getting rid of these. I'll probably make use of these because I really like these drawers, but I want everything to be in the drawers behind me like this so that when I'm filming right here, I can just kind of like turn around and grab what I need and it won't be too cluttery. Everything will be away. So, so far I have like my concealer, my foundations, and I just feel like Although I want this to be super pretty and super, let me stand up, and super organized, it's not gonna stay that way, so like why stress myself out? And it's gonna be hidden, so it's like, why? So my other dilemma is like, I kinda like everything to be cohesive, and like it's just not working out like that right now. It's just not giving what it's supposed to give. So I'm just trying to figure everything out, and um, I wanna get all this stuff in here so that tomorrow I can spray paint the handles and, um, I could probably do it tonight, actually. I could spray paint the handles so I don't have to touch them 
and then um, I'll bring my camera, start working on my lighting and stuff because I got new light, new lens, and then yeah, I go from there. So I got work to do, y'all. Alright, so Salah's on the phone, but she is hidden, clearly. But anyways, I literally packed out all my makeup. Um, you know, I have my concealers, foundation, primers. Um, stuffs and tubes. I have powders and just something random right now. Um, blushes. Sorry, blushes, bronzers, highlighters. All my lips right here. Um, eye stuff, pencils, primers, palettes. And then this is just a mix of like unopened stuff and my lashes so it's not this is not permanent i'm just trying to like get everything in a place and then i will um i guess organize it how i need to so we're gonna see job and then i'm gonna figure out a way to keep these i'm probably gonna put like skincare and like random stuff in this on that little like wall so that's it for now i'm taking my butt home because i'm tired and I'm asleep. What, Salah? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this girl. Oh my gosh, my camera's dying. Hey guys, so I'm just checking in. Today's Friday, and I know I said the vlog would be going up today, but it did not happen. I'm getting some work done on my laptop, though. Um, like answering emails and stuff and just like finalizing some things. So that's what I'm doing because I have time. I'm eating Chipotle. And honestly, it just don't hit like it used to. Like Chipotle is just not that girl anymore. I should have went to Gusto's or Gusto's, whatever, however you pronounce it. <laughs> but I have some downtime. So I'm getting this work done. Then I'm going to go back to work and then have a wax appointment later. Um, so yeah, where's Aaliyah's guac at? Because that guac, now that is a guacamole, okay, period. Hey guys, um, there's probably a big gap in the vlogging again because I literally have not vlogged, um, in about a week because I had a little incident. Um, I cut my finger at work on glass, like literally sliced my freaking finger open. I thought I lost my finger, but we're good. We're still here. It's healing. So for the past week, I've honestly been like slowly trying to get everything together, but mostly, and I keep looking at myself on the side, I need to look at the camera, but mostly I've been watching Manifest. So I started watching Manifest because all y'all kept talking about Manifest, 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 and I just... It's something to watch, but is it what y'all made it out to be? No. Am I committed? Yes, I am. But yeah, so um, so yeah, I have not um, recorded in about a week or two or something like that. And I've been walking around with the infamous hat. The hat that y'all hate, but like, let me be. Be proud of me. Okay, period. <laughs> but um, I'm about to record, so I thought I would check in. Uh, my camera's dying. I don't know why it's not trying. I need to order a lot of stuff. Every day is something, I swear. So, um, yeah, I decided to record today. And I'm about to do that. I got this wig that I'm about to wear probably for the weekend. Because, y'all, I have been looking so bummy. And I refuse to wear that damn hat all weekend. I got it together. Literally six hours later. Because, you know, I've just been off a little bit, clearly. But I got it together. My hair is popping. My makeup's popping-ish. It's not really it's not really hitting the way I wanted to. But I look better than I did a second ago for y'all. But six hours ago for me. I don't know why my makeup and my hair took so long. I'm, like, getting adjusted to, like, working in this space. Nothing's in order. Everything's all over the place. But I'm going to get it together, like I said, by this week. So I'm about to go to my mommy's house and go sleep because you guys know my um, mattress is not here. Um, I'm still waiting on stuff, so it's not a big deal. I literally live on one end of the street and my mama live on the other end of the street. So it's really not a big deal that I have to go back and forth. It's like not a big deal at all. So unfortunately, I did not eat anything. Oh my gosh, it's one o'clock and nothing's open. Not even the gas station. 
I don't know why when I press record, it like hella zooms in. But hey guys, so today is Monday. Wow, today is Monday. Um, I literally have not vlogged since my um, my little solo dinner, um, I think. If I'm not mistaken, it's been a few days, but I've just been very busy. I've been at work per usual, so there hasn't been much to vlog. But this week, I'm getting a lot of work done, and I'm going to be going out this week as well because, um, excuse my pimple. By the way, let's just get into it before. <laughs> I um, actually put a pimple patch on it, and it dried out, but I need to put another one on. I'm about to go in the shower and do my thing, but anyways, um... This week is Laren's birthday and also Julian's birthday. Their birthdays are like back to back. So between tomorrow and Wednesday, Laren's birthday, I'm going to be hanging out with her. I need to go get her gift tomorrow. And then um, Sunday, we're going out for Julian's birthday. So um, I'm going to be outside, guys. I'm going to be outside sad you feel me um but i haven't been out in so long like i know you guys saw my last vlog and it seems like i've been out but my vlogs have also been like a month behind and i've just been at home i've just been focused as you can see i'm at home i still call that I, I got two homes okay period <laughs> um i'm still at my mom's house but a lot of you guys a lot of you guys have also been asking about my furniture so my beauty room stuff came for the most part i just have to like get everything together um my bed frame came but i have no mattress and i have no nightstands and i have no dresser and i have not bought any living room furniture yet because i just feel like i want to complete both of my rooms before i move on to the next task does that make any sense so once my bedroom is complete 100 percent, of course i'm going to be adding like knickknacks here and there and my beauty room is 100 percent complete then i'm going to move on purchase a couch purchase my um i almost said nightstands coffee tables all that so that's pretty much how that's going to go y'all know i'm a procrastinator so i don't know when that's going to be done but i i just know me i like half ass i don't half ass everything but i will leave things undone so i want to make sure all of that is undone before i move on to the next thing and like i have to have a place to sleep and i have to work so the those are going to be the two that are done first not really worried about the couch and stuff yet because it just is what it is so anyways um besides that that's just a quick update i probably am doing well not probably i am doing a q a soon so make sure you guys check out my other channel because i will be doing like a little chit chat life update things because y'all i have been going through the motions honey i've been up and down up and down yeah what else do I have to do so yeah Wednesday I have a nail appointment because you guys know my last vlog you know they really aren't bad and everybody has been complimenting me on them but they are bad like I just don't like the I, Jojo just understands the assignment okay period let me just show y'all her Instagram real quick because she actually just posted something and I feel like anything you tell Jojo to do she executes it like there's no like second guessing like I don't even watch her when I do my nails like you know when you get your nails done and you have to like watch the person I literally be like in my phone or I'd be like looking at something else but look at like is it gonna focus? look she understands like blah list do you see that hello like it's like the shape like her lines are impeccable like she just knows what she's doing like I'm trying to get to the last one like fire okay like fire she's so good um her instagram is nail styles by jojo and she works at the hot spot if you're in atlanta um it's in like the sandy springs area but ciao she gotta like and i'm getting these clouds up y'all gonna see my nails y'all gonna see my nails but look at how she look at the clouds perfect like i miss jojo so much and i, I she getting a fat tip this time like she getting a fat tip like she always get a fat tip but she getting a fat tip <laughs> So, um, getting my nails done Wednesday, getting, oh my gosh, is this Desi? Wow, you guys, Desi looks so pretty. Somebody did her makeup, I'm waiting for it to like, she looks gorgeous. That, that, I want, I want my hair like that. Anyways, so, Wednesday, get my nails done and my brows done. I like realized the other day, I haven't got my brows done in like a month and a half. Maybe two months, actually, because I got them done before the vlog before the last, so yeah it's time to get these done they like have no shape so i'm gonna do that and then um i'm having tiffany come to clean the house my mom's house 
this week because the house is junky and I just don't want to clean and I just feel like my mom's out of town she went to Jamaica she took her a little vacay without me okay um but I just want when she comes back the house is clean and all that so yeah um what else do I have planned this week I'm gonna try to get some Instagram content in because I have not posted on Instagram in a month I posted a reel the other day, but like I haven't like taken pictures, content. I just haven't been in the mood. Like honestly, it's just so weird. Like I just don't. I just. I just be feeling hella frumpy. Like I just don't be feeling like that girl. Like I just don't know. And I've been ordering more clothes. Like I have so many. Oh, I have to show you guys something too. I'm just rambling. I just haven't vlogged in a while. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys, so I need to talk to you guys. But um. I've just been ordering so much clothes like I just think I'm this fashion girl now y'all and I just got so many packages on the way I cannot wait to put these outfits together put these videos together get ready with me do these like um hauls and stuff try on hauls I'm just really excited to be doing that I'm really really excited oh my god oh my god oh my gosh I used to be the girl that would have like one bag and well I used to have one everything and think it was okay I used to have one perfume one pair of heels one bag and I just would wear it with everything but now like I'm like I'm becoming more into my fashion and like putting outfits together and like whenever I think of looks I think of looks literally like I'm no fashionista you know what I'm saying um but when I think of looks now I literally think of looks from like my hair down to my lashes down to my shoe down to the accessories like I'm still getting it down pack but you know it's fun it's a part of my job so yeah I'm not even gonna say what video is coming up next because you guys are gonna drag me but I have three more videos to edit for the night and then I will see y'all tomorrow so oh before I leave I have to finish my beauty room this week so throughout the next few vlogs you're probably gonna see me doing some like beauty room work um, and getting some things together so I need to order some things on Amazon tonight actually because I need to move on things because I can't live like this forever. So the order, so see, I'm just hopping around in the conversations. Oh my God, I hope you guys are keeping up. This is how I really be talking to my friends, like all over the place. Like, I'm so sorry. But um, so the order of my, my apartment getting together, it's going to be my beauty room first because everything's pretty much in there except like the knickknacks. And um, so that's going to be the first thing that's going to be done. Then my room, then my living room. So may the Lord be with me. I'm just in a better mood about it. At first, I was like really in a funk. It wasn't even about the apartment, um, but I just was in a funk in general. It, had, it, it did have to do with the apartment. It added to it, but I just had other things going on. And I just was in such a bad mood. Like my friends would be calling me like, Tasha, get up. Like, like even Laren, like I cannot wait to get her gift because Laren just deserves, like y'all don't even understand. Me and Laren have had such a our friendship has been up and down, you know what I'm saying? But not in a bad way. We just be on two different wavelengths. And I just feel like she's just been so supportive. Like she will call me first thing in the morning, be like, are you up? Did you get your content done? Do you need pictures today? Did you do this? Do you need that? She's like, do you need your brushes washed? When I cut my fingers, she's like, do I need to come over? She helped me move. She helped me get my stuff together. Like she's just been very helpful. Not discrediting any of my other friends, but like Lynn has like really been there. And that's like a big thing. I really appreciate it. And it's a big thing because a part of our friendship we've always been like so distant in a sense like I don't know it's really weird but I do really appreciate her so we finna celebrate this year okay not that I don't ever celebrate her but I just want her to know that she's very very appreciated so I actually need to order her a cake you know I need to call and order her and Julian's cake tomorrow because I'm playing so yeah I need to stop talking and get stuff together so I will see you guys tomorrow on Tuesday hopefully I'm dressed and done up a little bit because I'm not gonna be, I'm lying. So I'm in my beauty room, which looks a mess right now because I just keep bringing stuff in here and it's time to get it together. So this is the dresser that I um, have. This is the same one that I have at work. So I probably showed you guys a few clips ago, like everything's in there, whatever, whatever. I'm literally not showing myself today because I look a mess. But I did get a mirror. Can you guys see me? I hope not. But I did get a mirror. You guys can see it over there. This is so weird because you guys can like see everything, but you can't see me. <laughs> but um, yeah, basically everything in here is going to be like accents of gold. <sighs> yeah, I'm so sorry. Going up the stairs is no joke. But um, oh, I need to unplug this. This has been plugged in for days. Yikes. But um, everything's going to be accents of gold. 
it was so hard to find a dresser with gold handles and the way this is set up i don't know if you guys can see um i can't just unscrew these and put a new knob in so i'm just going to keep these handles and spray paint them so um let's see if i can position this so that you guys can see what i'm doing position <gasps> this so you guys can see what i'm doing without really seeing me so i'm basically basically gonna spray paint this hi guys <laughs> i'm basically gonna spray paint this and um what a day. So besides me looking a mess right now, for real, for real, um, I'm basically going to spray paint these. So once I find that bag that I got from Home Depot, we can get this started. Oh, you're not gonna do the thing? Yeah, but I'm not gonna talk to them. I just wanna see. Ooh, 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 break this up already. See, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this probably needs an end. Okay, so I just taped it up a little bit more. <laughs> And now we're gonna try to paint this gold, but um, if it start bubbling and shit, I'm gonna throw the whole dresser away. I'm scared, Larry. <laughs> you ever spray painted before? So this is the. I don't even know what this looks. You know what? <laughs> Let me help me. I don't think the, the yeah. I was like, I don't think it's wide enough. Right here, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that ain't. Mm -hmm. You just gonna keep adding more. There's that one little white piece though. You, you are. <laughs> girl, you already see it because I can't wear it away. Cause you know, before I thought it was like clear and white, and it was okay. So we're gonna shake them up, shake them up. Why is it missed it? Okay. Okay, chill out now. <laughs> You're going to the left and to the right. It's too hard. Oh my God! It's dripping though. What do I do? What do I do? No, it's okay. No, no, it's dripping. <laughs> you know what? Picasso is Picasso. Picasso is Picasso because he did what he wanted to do. He did not fit society standards. Raindrop, drop top, drop top, top, smoking, no cooking the hot box. Cooking, fucking on your bitch, she a dot, dot, dot. Cooking up dope in the crock pot, pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga. Hey, I don't try nobody, quit the trick, nobody. Call up the gang and they come and get janked. Call me your river, give you a t-shirt. My shit. bad and bad. bad. Cooking up dope with a oozy. My niggas are savage, ooh. Savage. We got thudders and hundred rounds, too. God. My bitch is bad and bad. bad. Cooking up dope with a oozy. Dope. My niggas are savage, ooh. Savage. We got thudders and hundred rounds, too. Raindrop, drip, drop top, drop top, smoking, no cooking, the hot box. Cooking, fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Cooking up dope in the crock pot, pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga. Hey. I don't try nobody, quit the trick, nobody. Call up the gang and they come and get janked. Cry me your river, keep you with the shit. It's bad, it's bad. Cooking up dope with a booze. My niggas are savage. We got thudders and hunter rounds, too. It's bad, it's bad. Cooking up dope with a booze. My niggas are savage. Good morning, guys. So, let me turn this down. Um, I am up early. Well, not really. It's like nine something. Um, I'm about to get my nails done. And I'm so, ooh, why am I holding the camera like that? I'm about to get my nails done, and I'm super excited. Because, yeah, I know last time I was in a little funk of the funk. But these are going bye-bye. And I'm going to just show y'all. I'm going to just show y'all the difference when my girl does my nails and you guys will understand <laughs> but um i'm in starbucks line right now i'm about to get me a little drink and a drink as i have one from yesterday right here it's kind of embarrassing but whatevs um and then i'm getting my brows done after i didn't realize until i need to near my upper lip oh it's literally a whisker oh my gosh i just want to pluck it right now oh my gosh, oh my gosh it's not going and i had this huge pimple it's just, and then the rain. It's just been, it's just been one of those weeks. This week, I literally, I promise you guys, I had planned to do content. I had got all my stuff in the mail. Well, a lot of it in the mail. And I was like, yes, I'm going to get my looks together, get back on track. And it just hasn't worked like that. Like, this weather is so shitty. But, um, yeah, I, 
I'm gonna get it together so today I might film or take a picture one or the other I have to promise myself I'm gonna do I might not be able to get this Starbucks I'm gonna be late to my nail appointment and that's a no go for me so I'm gonna dip but anyways this line is so long like I just don't understand so I went to Starbucks I got my drink I drink cold brews now I'm an adult and I'm literally about to be at the oh my gosh I almost at the airport <laughs> it's like I almost at the nail shop um I made it it's literally 10 29 got my Starbucks made my appointment and I hope it ain't no problems okay all right guys so we are looking better okay I got my brows done and it just looks so much better. And I had her wax my upper lip because it was looking so dark. And I just didn't want to nail it. But let's, let's, let's talk about the nails. Let's start with the show, honey. Look at the nails. Look at the material. Do you guys see what I mean now? Like, her work is just so clean. Like, it's just so... It's not zooming in on the little smiley face. But it's just so clean. She takes her time on my nail. It's so smooth. It looks so freaking good. So these are my nails for the month. Or until whenever. And now I'm about to go get Laren's gift. So let me tell y'all what I'm getting Laren. Just in case I don't check back in. I'm getting Laren an iPad for her birthday. Because for those of you guys who don't know. She owns a business. Um, Jimbe. And she does everything on her phone. She literally does every single thing from her phone. And I don't think she has a laptop. So I'm like, you're going to buy you no know, laptop now. But I can get you an iPad. I can get you an iPad. So um, I'm looking for an iPad. But it's literally, I want to get her the regular iPad. I'm not getting her the Pro. I'm not getting the Mini. I want to get the regular iPad. And those, like, don't exist. So um, if anything, I'll just get the Mini. But then that's kind of stupid because it's as small as a phone. And then the Pro is like $1,000. And baby girl, I love you. But, like... <laughs> but no I really think she needs an iPad because she makes like all her flyers like she makes all her content on her phone and I know that can be very straining because like I use my phone a lot but like at least I have my computer you know what I'm saying so we gonna get her a little iPad or whatever um, but the target well now I'm looking at my phone it's apparently closer to my house but it's an hour away from where I am now so I'm just gonna go there because that so that target apparently has Okay, didn't we ask you for all that? that turn right. Oh, I turned it up. <laughs> that Target apparently has like 20 of them in stock, and the Targets by my house don't have any. Or they keep saying they have them in stock, but when I go to the store, they don't have them. And the Apple store doesn't have it. Uh, Walmart, I have to order it online. Best Buy, I have to order it online. It's just real ghetto out here. So I guess everybody has an iPad but me, child. Because I'm going to give me an iPad too, then, if that be the case. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do now. And then I'm going to. By that time, she should be off, and we're supposed to be doing something tonight. Um, I don't know if she has plans or not, but I'm definitely going to, like, meet her and give her her gift and call it a day because I'm really not feeling well. Like, I don't know. My body just feels really weird. Um, like, I don't know. I just, I'm literally just drained. That's what it is. I'm literally physically drained. All right, guys. So, we made it to target and they actually had it when i tell y'all i went to like oh no why is the heat on no ma'am turn that off anyways when i tell you i literally went to like four targets yesterday and none of them had the ipad so got her ipad okay period i don't even know what color this is i was like child just give me an ipad and um a pencil because i just feel like why have an ipad with no pencil so yeah now i want one but it's not my time <laughs> so now i'm about to go home and i'm in the most random part of georgia literally i don't know what flowery branch is that's the target that had like 20 ipads so if you're looking for an ipad and you're in georgia flowery branch will have an ipad for you sis um but i've never been here it's like an hour away from me and like i thought it was like on my side of town and it's not okay so now i have to figure out how to get back home it's like very it's giving very much country it's it's definitely giving country yeah shane's rib shack tj maxx kohl's that's what they got going on so it's like interesting going to different parts though of georgia like georgia is very big and georgia is very very country like i always think like um atlanta when i think georgia well that's weird because i live like in the suburbs but like i think atlanta i think city that i really remember like i live in the south like but anyways i don't know if i've ever told you guys that i want a farm that like 
is my end goal in life. I want a farm. Um, just a small one. Like, you know, I'm just going to go home. Forget the Chick-fil-A. I'm not turning around. Um, I just want a small one. It just, I just love that, like, very homely feeling. I'm just such, like, a... I like to, like, kind of be to myself. Can y'all hurry up? Dang. I kind of like to be by my... Y'all, this is not working. This whole top, oh my gosh. I'm going on the highway and my fucking phone just fell in the crack. Ah! Don't judge. I don't, have no, I don't have no if I had to sit. So it just is what it is, okay? But we are chilling. We're about to um get our hair together because y'all be talking about my bucket hat. She got these one, two, three, four braids in her head. What's the girl on the Pineapple Express? I'm finna show you. Well, no, you said Pineapple Express. <laughs> You the girl from Polar Express? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that ass. <laughs> but um, we're, about to, we're about to get it together. I'm about to put on this wig, and of course I'm going to record. And oh my god, my tripod thing is like the other way. And she's going to give herself a um, braided ponytail. I was waiting for you to say it because I was oh. like, <laughs> she's <laughs> like, <laughs> we gave herself a braided ponytail. So she got her some braiding hair, y'all. This is the funniest thing. But you got her some braiding hair, right? <laughs> and we're checking out. You ready? Yes, I am. So we're checking out, and I'm like, why the end curl? <laughs> what is this? What is that? What is that? Okay, they didn't have a second girl. Yeah, this piece of my store did not. That's what I said. We, if we really need a braiding hair, it would have been SOL. They didn't have good braiding hair at all. But um, yeah, the ends are curled, so she's gonna have a little curly suit braided ponytail. Um, hopefully this is enough hair though. It is. I mean, like it is, but when you start braiding, maybe get getting all thin. <laughs> so it's literally been about ten hours, and I finished my hair. So this is Allah. Say hello. Hello. Let them see the ponytail. Let them see. Let them see. Period. Period. She did what she had to do. Why are you looking like that? It's so cute. She did what she had to do. I tried what I had to do. I don't think the picture is gonna happen tonight. I'm not failing it. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm literally about to take this wig off because I'm not wearing this tomorrow. I just don't want to wear this no more. Welcome to my world. Tomorrow, you guys, we're going out. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog because, um, <laughs> what'd you say? Y'all trying to have fun. I'm not trying to keep up with a camera, but tomorrow we're celebrating oh, we're celebrating Julian's birthday and we're gonna get lit. Okay, what it's is party? What, what is going on with my camera? Hey y'all, so I know my hair looks crazy, but I'm about to get it together again. So I did my hair literally yesterday so that I could record. I like tried a different hairstyle. I don't know if I showed you guys after, but um I did this little like 
side swoop situation. And you know, it just was not my zhuzh. It was cute. I tried it. I wanted to try it. I tried it. So that's what I did. But I'm out of breath because first of all, I live on the third floor, you guys, and I just was I just came upstairs. But anyways, um, I'm literally about to do my hair again. I'm doing my hair again because we're going out for Ju's birthday. His birthday is tomorrow, but we're celebrating today. And I'm just gonna do something more my speed, more simple. So that's what I'm about to do. I went to work. <laughs> I went to work and I did Salah's makeup too. So her makeup's done. She's at home. Her hair, she did her hair last night. So she's chilling, okay? She's a very simple girl. I did her makeup today. It was so cute. Look at you guys. Well, you guys are gonna see her later, but I just wanna show you guys because. She just looks so beautiful. Look at my best friend. Is it gonna play? What's going on? Let's play it. Gorgeous. She wanted a little liner. And I was like, girl, now you know I only do brown smokies. <laughs> but it was super cute. So I'm about to get cute myself and do what I do and then pick out an outfit because I don't know where we're going or what we're doing. Let me start. Uh, slicking my hair back. Oh, look who looks like a bad, okay, period. I, wow. Besides this little situation, I don't know if I told you guys I waxed my lip, which I never do, but I just was like, let me just wax it because I don't want to nair it anymore, whatever, whatever. And I literally reacted like I always do. So even after like 10 years of not waxing my upper lip, I look so pretty. Oh my god. Y'all, I'm bad. Okay, when I get it together, I'm bad. So now I'm about to show you guys my Brandon Blackwood bags because I have been wanting to show you. Let me take them in my beauty room because that's not gonna be able to see them. Oh my god, she looks so cute in my um thing. And then I'm about to get dressed and get ready to go to Julian's Zinna. I need to get a new lens because when I tell y'all with this camera, it will be like the perfect angle, right? And it'll be like wide angled and stuff. And then when I press uh, record, it literally zooms up this much. Like, I don't understand that. But I think my batteries have been charging. The little thing wasn't lighting up, but the battery's staying full. So that means that I'm gonna be able to bring my vlog camera with me today too. So I'm happy about that because, um, Somebody commented on one of my vlogs, right? And I hate to just talk on the negative, but somebody commented on my vlogs and was like, all you do is talk, there's no content. Well, all I do is record content and I post it, babe. Like, <laughs> I can't put all my content in the vlog. So if you're following me or you're subscribed to me, then you would literally see that I post consistently. I've been a little off, but y'all know because I just moved and all that, but, um, I mean, the content goes up. I'm pretty, I'm pretty consistent. So I don't know what they want me to do. If they want me to jump out of airplanes, you know, skydiving and stuff, scuba diving. I don't know what kind of content y'all want, but I'm telling you guys, my life is boring and that's just it. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna always create content, which is separate from vlogs, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to do stuff for vlogs. Like my life is my life at the end of the day. But anyways, moving along. So I got my brands in Blackwood bags, you guys, and they are so okay so i got five bags i originally ordered three and um then i ordered two more because i was like wow the quality of these are so nice but i was really nervous to order the second time because long story short the first time i ordered on may 10th i believe and they were pre-ordered which i knew i was aware of that's not the issue um but then i did not receive an order confirmation email and i was like what's going on so i was like maybe you know i know a lot of people are ordering i'll just give it some time I don't like to think the worst of businesses, you know what I'm saying? So then um, I gave it exactly a month because June 10th, I reached out and emailed. First, I DM'd him, which I shouldn't have done, uh, but it was just like, he's very interactive and he responds a lot. So I DM'd him. He didn't respond. So then I went ahead and emailed um, like a week later. And I was like, hey, like, I'm, I, I understand that the orders are pre order um, that's not the problem because they said that the orders will go out the end of June and it wasn't the end of June yet, but I did not receive a order confirmation. So I just wanted to like make sure I was going to get my stuff because you got my money. <laughs> so, um, they ended up sending it out and, um, they sent out an order confirmation email on like June 23rd or something like that. And then I literally got my 
package last Friday. So today is the 25th. So last Friday I got my, my bag, like mid July or the Friday before that. So it was still like past when they said they were gonna go out. So I mean, when you order pre-order, that's just what it is. But I'm just letting you guys know that's how that situation went for me. My best friend ordered a bag as well. Um, and she has not received it yet. She's been emailing them. Um, and now she's like trying to get her money because they don't even do refunds. So I'm, I'm, everybody's experience is different. I told her to wait it out, but like, honestly, it's a month past the time that they said they would be sending out the bags. And I just feel like also there should be a communication. Like, you know, I understand things happen and he's one person, he's, a, um, he's running a business and he has a high volume, but also you should be emailing people like, Hey, like I know your orders are supposed to go out, but they're gonna like posting on Instagram or responding to some comments and assuming that everybody's going to see that or, you know, whatever. Um, oh, anyways, um, it's just kind of, it just kind of sucks that everybody won't have a good experience, but the two other two sets of bags, which are going to be the last bags that I showed you guys, I literally got them in a week. So if the bags are on the site and they're not pre-ordered, you're going to get your bag. So I don't know what's going on with the pre-order thing. I just want to like let you guys know my experience. But I shopped again, so my experience wasn't that terrible. And I absolutely love the bag. I love the quality of the bag. Despite I saw this thing going on on Twitter and everybody was talking about the quality of the bag. I don't know about that. But I'm here to tell you it is definitely worth the price. I keep looking at myself because <laughs> I need to be looking at the camera. But anyways, so I'm going to show you the first three bags that I got. So... The bags come in this box, okay, and they're all like literally fit the bags perfectly. Like every box is shaped different and it's a different size. So I love that. I love that it's super custom and it's not just like cookie cutter. And well, cookie cutter would be perfect, but it's not just like a, a square box and they just threw the bag in there. Like it literally perfectly fits your bag. So it says Brandon Blackwood, New York on the front. And it says your bag type and all that, just as if you were to buy this from a designer store. Because I know they sell Brandon Blackwood in Neiman's now as well. Like, good for him. He's doing great. Like, love that. So it also comes, I already took mine out and looked, but it also comes in a little dust bag as well. And you get to store your bags in there. Okay, mine just literally tossed in there because I it just fell when, when it dropped. But, um... It comes in there, so you can either store it in the box, in the dust bag, or both. It is up to you. I really don't keep boxes and stuff. Um, I might keep it in the dust bag for a little bit, but for the most, but you really should. You should really store your bags correctly, especially if you invest into bags. Especially, you know, yeah, you should just yeah. But anyways, and then it did come. The actual bag did come wrapped in tissue paper. All of my bags did, and then it was in the bag, and then you get a little note. Um, a handwritten note so this was the first bag that i got this is the mini trunk bag with the gold hardware and it is super cute you guys it is so so freaking stinking cute i love it it's really hard i love the quality of it so it's super super cute um i love the gold hardware i got gold because i do have more gold stuff so i was like this is just so cute and it opens like this i hope i don't break my nail you know you'd be doing stupid stuff and your nails break and it opens like this um it doesn't open all the way but that is just fine you need to reach in and get what you want and then all of the bags well the trunk bags come with um a strap too and it seems very sturdy nice quality because you know the straps on bags can make bags look super super cheap so um i really like this and it is mini so it's not gonna hold your phone this bag does not hold your phone unfortunately so this bag is literally for aesthetics um you're just gonna have to hold your your um phone in your hand honey i got a bucket bag you guys i freaking love bucket bags okay i love 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 them i got mustard yellow which i'm so mad at myself for just not getting the orange too i just didn't want to be excessive because i have a lot of orange stuff that i've been buying but this yellow is freaking gorgeous and it also does come with a strap as well so you can wear it as a crossbody or you can hold it like this i think this is so so cute and this will be able to hold your phone because it's deep so i love that and of course it came all of them came packaged pretty much the same you guys can see like the box is even different like he really took his time like the box is a different size like this is for the mini trunk bag and this is for the bucket bag like super cute right Ugh, just gonna put that up 
this is why I really went on the website because I had to have this bag. You guys know I just got my um Tom Ford. Um, somebody got my door. So then, anyways, it's a lot here, guys. So, anyways, then this I got this freaking um denim bag. This one is bigger than the pink one. This is like the standard size, but I really got this to match my Tom Ford shoes. I thought this was gonna be a look, but this is so freaking nice. I told them how you haven't gotten your bag yet, friend. <laughs> <sighs> but um, <laughs> this one comes with a strap too but this one's really really nice i really really love it like it's so cute but it's way bigger than the mini one so make sure if you guys shop on the site you guys um if you guys shop on the site you guys pay attention because i almost got the mini version of this and i'm so glad that i did not y'all i done ate half these damn uh potato wedges already i was so hungry and i was just trying to keep it cute I'm hungry. My hair and makeup came out so pretty. It did. You look so pretty. You look so pretty. But I hate this this side. Why? Cause I can't pluck it. Cause there's like um there's like tracks or something right there. So I can't pluck it to like make it like. Cause I was gonna do a side part, but hmm. made some shape, huh? But anyway, so the next bag I got, I don't know what this one is called. This one's called the Sophia. It's a black crop suede and i love this bag i'm gonna wear this one so freaking much so it looks like this is like a little flat bag and it has silver hardware i've been looking for a bag with silver hardware especially a black one because for some reason i have more silver stuff now and the gold be clashing okay so this is the standard size which is like perfect so i might wear this one today because i can put my camera in there and it's really deep so this one is super super <laughs> it's in there it's um it's pink and then the last bag i got you guys this is so cute this is the same um so was it called sophia too or no let me make sure yeah this is the mini sophia so it's way smaller but look at the color you guys it's just so cute i love it and it has silver hardware as well but this one cannot hold your phone unfortunately but it is what it is if it's the aesthetic <laughs> so um yeah these are the bags they're super cute um so like i said if you order pre-order i don't know when you're gonna get your stuff if you order something that's on this on the site you will get your bag like super soon ah! when he blocks you so you go to his house as a ups driver that was really funny. oh that little mustache she had on girl hey okay, so i'm dressed okay so i have on this shirt from my mom's closet and excuse my room y'all know it's a mish i'm gonna show you anyways and then i have on these shorts the black bag like i said I have on my jbw and the steve maddens that are freaking falling apart for whatever reason do y'all see that do not buy these shoes do not because what the hell is this this is embarrassing but i'm aware of anyways but this is the outfit and i'm gonna take you guys with me because i have this big ass purse so love it hey guys say hi <laughs> say hi to sahara
act like I'm your man I'm just a fan so it is the morning after um we went out for julian's birthday yesterday and it was fun we had a good time um y'all let me tell you i didn't even get lit like that like i definitely drank but i my body physically cannot take liquor anymore i cannot drink because I wake up with the biggest headache. I can have one drink and I am done for. That's why when I go out and I'm like, I'm not drinking. Everybody's like, Tasha, why aren't you drinking? Oh my God, it's okay, you can have a drink. And I'm like, it's not that I don't want to, I just don't like the aftermath. It's exactly five o'clock, right? And I'm just not getting up. And I'm going to the grocery store to get a few um, things for dinner. I'm making nachos, um, chicken nachos. I make them like this really like, extra ass way i'm gonna probably show you guys but yeah so i need to pick up my favorite ingredients so i think i'm just gonna go to kroger Publix be like ugh, but i like uh, i like Publix for their produce and meat though i'm gonna just go to kroger because Publix be confusing me i don't i don't know it'd be confusing me. for that I'm gonna edit some videos because I am very behind and these companies are like, Tasha, where is the content? And I'm like, I don't know, where is it? Where is the content? <laughs> but um, yeah, and I have on this hot ass sweatshirt and these hot ass pants because my clothes are everywhere. I'm literally at my mom's house. I don't know if I told you guys, my mom went out the country. She went to Jamaica for I don't even know when she gets back, but she went to Jamaica. And so right now I'm like, literally before I was like bouncing back and forth, but like I'm literally mostly at my mom's house now because my brother and sister are there. And you know what teenagers, you give them an inch and they take a mile. So my mom was like, can you like watch them? And I'm like, you know, this wasn't a problem when I was living there, but now that I don't have to be there, it's just kind of like, I don't want to be there. So I've been like cooking dinner or like leaving food or, um, stuff for them and kind of just staying there because they really will get out of control because let me tell y'all my brother he's gonna be 17 in august what is going on my nail i hate this nail polish i love my nails but this nail polish is just chipping she uses like different nails. anyways see my, my brain i'll be all over the place but anyways so um i was gone because i was at my house and i was working um and I was like recording, editing, all that kind of stuff. And so I didn't get home till like 1.30ish. And I guess he thought that I wasn't coming home. He kept blowing on my phone. I kept ignoring it. Before he was blowing me up to ask me to go somewhere and the answer was no. So let me tell y'all, I get home and this boy is having a kickback, okay? A kickback at the house. He would never do that. He would never, ever, ever do that if my mom was home. And he wouldn't have done that if I was in the house, but he thought I wasn't coming home. And on top of it, so I had bought like a bunch of Popeye's chicken because um, I just, it was the easiest thing to just buy. And then I thought my friend was coming over. Salah was supposed to come in, but she didn't get there till like a day or two later. So I had bought like a lot of, I had bought like a lot of chicken. This boy done served everybody uh, Popeye's on a platter, honey. Like I bought food for his cake bag and I just was looking like, okay and it wasn't a big deal that he gave his friends food it, it was the issue that the friends were there at 1 30 in the morning and they didn't leave i don't even know when they left because i went to bed like i wasn't like that when i'd be like kids are so and so and people are like oh it's just the age i wasn't like that i didn't play with my mama and i still don't play with my mama like i didn't have people over and if i did have anybody over it was one person that she already knew was coming over whether i I don't want to even say sn snuck because there was no sneaking like I don't know I never like went anywhere I wasn't supposed to never didn't like I didn't do any of that honestly you can ask my mama she'd be like you did not give me this these kind of problems I'm like I know I don't be seeing people wear masks at all and it's upsetting me and my homegirls because last year this time we couldn't even leave the house so I'm just trying to figure out how how we got here but anyways child I'm about to go and get this stuff. So I'm back home. Sorry about the lighting, guys. Famous nachos. I hope I didn't forget anything at the store. Have you tried those before? Yeah, these are so good. Mm -hmm. They're delicious. 
when we were going to Vegas, we got these. I had edibles like that before, and I was like, nah, hold on now. The edibles ain't supposed to be good now. Mm -hmm. All right, so I don't know how to go about this whole cooking and vlogging thing, you guys. Oh, that's a perfect, that's a good thing. But we're going to do what we do. So I'm going to make the pico first. Um, I buy already, wow, my camera's dying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I buy pico and I just spice it up. We're just gonna throw that in there. And we like pico over here, so I got two. Oh. <laughs> wow, my camera's dying. That makes me sad. So my battery died. I did the pico. I'll show you guys later. But now I'm just cooking the chicken. I've already cut, I mean, I've already made some of the chicken and cut it up and put it in this bowl to put on the side. And I'm using thinner pieces of the breast because it just cooks faster. It's just a lot faster, okay? When you do the thick piece of chicken breast, it's just too damn rich. So the thin pieces are just fine. Oops. You just do a few minutes on each side. This is the pico. Look for you guys. I put lime in there, salt, pepper, and a little bit of olive oil. And I keep it in the fridge to chill. Okay, so once the chicken is cooked, take it off, see it's nice and grilled or whatever. I put on my cutting board. That off of there. And I guess I can move it, guys. You guys, I'm I'm not good at this, so just bear with your girl, okay? So this is how the chicken looks. And I literally just cut it into little pieces. Don't talk about my cutting, okay? And I actually got this recipe from somebody off of YouTube. Her name is Stovetop Kisses, so I'll leave her exact recipe. But I've made these nachos so many times that at this point, I just kind of do my own thing. You know what I'm saying? Again, don't judge my cooking, I mean my cutting that over there and that's it that's how your chicken should look a nice and and i'm going to put it in the bowl the steam coming from it yes ma'am this is how the chicken looks it's really good i use um this is like the simplest recipe like it's so easy that's why i'm doing it so quickly but i literally use taco seasoning i didn't even use all of it because I didn't need that much. I used some Sazon. Um, this isn't the one I normally use, but they didn't have the one that I get. Like the original one, they didn't have it in the grocery store. I do a little bit of um, ah, onion powder. Do you see that? Onion powder, garlic powder, and salt and pepper, okay? Very simple. Okay, so excuse the angle. I'm trying to make it work. But I like to use an aluminum pan so that I can just throw it away when I'm done. I'm going to start off with some chips. I'm going to start off with some chips. On the back bottom. Okay, this is not going to work, y'all. Because I thought we had more chips. Because every time I buy a bag of nacho chips, there's already some here and then now there's no chips. Anyway, so you want to line the bottom with um, chips and then do some queso. I just heated it up in the microwave. I'm not going to do too much because Salah is not a fan of queso like that. So just like a lot. And normally you do like a few layers, but we ain't got chips for that today. So ugh. We're gonna do some chicken. I'm just gonna even it out. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just gonna save the rest and probably make some more tomorrow. I also made some Spanish rice. I'm just gonna layer that rice on there. Mm. 
the rice gives it a little razzle dazzle. Then I'm just gonna take some cheese and finish it off. All right. And it should look like these, you guys. And I'm gonna put it in the oven for like 10 minutes just so that the cheese come out. And then we're gonna top it off. And you basically top it off with the pico, but I forgot to put cilantro in there. That's a lot of pico. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. Absolutely, there's more than enough to go around. But I'm gonna cut some cilantro up and put it in there because that's what I forgot to do. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. You got your jalapenos. Got some sauces we never tried before. Right here, do y'all see that? Yeah, we're just spicing it up. So it's like the quickest, easiest way to make nachos. When you take it out the oven, it should look something like this. And then this is my pico. About to mix her up is so good. I'm just gonna get my spoon and mix it on around. Oh, I just spilled some. Did you guys see that? Because I'm trying to do everything on camera. But just take a moment to appreciate this yummy goodness. Okay, so this is what we do, okay? Hope y'all can stick. It's what you do. You just take the spoon, and you just go up in there. And it's very, very filling as well. If I could just get some, scoop it in there. See, when you start to scoop it, it doesn't look the most um, aesthetically <laughs> appealing, but it's so good. All right, there's your salad. Thank you. You're very welcome. So I'm gonna get some pico, and I'm gonna just put it right on top. I love pico, so I'm gonna be extra with it. And some sour cream. I love sour cream as well. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this on there. Never tried this. I'm gonna. There you go. And voila, nachos in minutes, okay? Period. Mmm, delicioso. And that's how you cook dinner when you got 10 kids in 10 minutes, okay? <laughs> I haven't made these in so I think the last time I had these, honestly, mm. was when I made them for you guys last time. That was a long time. It was mm. July. Mm-hmm.